Hi guys, so I'm sure you can tell I look the same as the video before this. Uh, I wanted to sit down and do a couple of videos today. Um, as I said in my last video, our Wi-Fi is not working at the moment, so I'm just trying to get as much filmed as I can and edited, and then as soon as possible, I'll upload it. Um, this is just giving me some more downtime to do these videos. And right now, I want to talk about something that I'm really passionate about, and that is breastfeeding. Um, and before I do get into it, I just wanted to say that uh, this isn't, uh, like I don't have any negative feelings towards anybody who doesn't breastfeed or, um, I mean, this is just myself personally. Uh, I'm going to speak on statistics and facts that uh, I have found out through my breastfeeding classes and online. Um, I'm just sticking to my opinion and facts and I understand completely that some women can't breastfeed or they just don't want to and that's completely fine. Uh, this is aimed for the moms who want to know about breastfeeding and enjoy breastfeeding. That's all it really is. Um, and a little bit of a background with trying to breastfeed with my daughter as well. So if you'd like to hear about this and some facts then keep on watching. Uh, for a little bit of a background on what happened with my daughter. I did try breastfeeding her. It only lasted about a month and a half to two months. It didn't last that long. And my problem was, is I didn't have very much information um, about it. I just thought that I wasn't producing enough and that I wasn't feeding her enough. And I gave up. I was like, obviously my body's not meant to produce milk and I'm failing. I don't want her to starve. So I'm just going to switch to formula. And she was formula fed from then on. And I mean, she's perfectly fine now. Sorry, I'm shaky. Uh, she was perfectly fine now. Um, you know, I did good in breastfeeding as long as I did. But what I didn't know is that I was actually producing more than enough at the time. Uh, and I wish I had known that and just understood that she was cluster feeding and babies pacify on the breast uh, and just kept going and stayed strong. Uh, there are several signs that show that your baby's being fed enough, you know, like uh, enough wet diapers throughout the day. You're not even looking so much at first for poopy diapers, it's wet diapers. And that shows that, you know, they're being fed enough. And she had a lot of diapers and I just, didn't put two and two together for some reason. I don't know why. Um, and I mean, I was producing two ounces in my first week. Uh, and I found out in one of my classes that, you know, you only need enough milk the size of a marble, you know, a tiny little marble, uh, cause their stomachs aren't that big. And I didn't know that. I was just like, ah, I'm only producing two ounces and I see all these women online and uh you know in these classes uh well the mom groups because i used to go to one of the mom talk groups back then um that produce so much milk you know they produce like six ounces and i'm only producing two something's wrong with me and i wasn't hydrated i didn't realize once again don't know why but uh i wasn't drinking enough water at the time and for some reason back then I didn't really take good care of myself. I didn't stay hydrated and I don't recommend this to anybody. I didn't eat very much. Uh, I wasn't taking good care of myself because of the stress and things that I was going through back then. And by not taking care of myself, you know, how am I gonna take care of my daughter, right? So, you know, those are just a few things uh, that contributed to me not breastfeeding very long. And I really wish that I had known what I know now because I would have I would have kept fighting for sure and I would have kept trying to breastfeed uh, and I'm proud of myself for at least going as long as I did for knowing as little as I did. So with that being said, I would like to start getting into some of the things I've learned about breastfeeding that I find interesting and amazing and um, yeah, I just want to get into that bit. So we all know that a fed baby is what's important. As long as you're feeding your child, that's all that matters. But 
if you want to get into facts and statistics, you know, what's best health wise for your child, uh, it would be breast milk. And that's why I want to attempt this. You know, I'm praying that it works for me this time. Uh, there's just so many things that your body knows to produce into your milk. Uh, there's so many different things that your milk can do that I had no idea about. The formula just can't do. Um, one of the things is that human breast milk can boost your child's immune system. Uh, it fights so many different infections and I didn't even realize not only does it fight like viral and bacterial infections, but it can fight parasitic infections. And I didn't know that, you know, you think parasites and you need medicine, that kind of stuff to fight it off. Well, apparently your breast milk is that medicine for your baby. I actually have a little cheat sheet with me. I don't want to forget anything. So if you see me looking down, it's because I want to be able to name off some of the things that it can fight off. Um, like respiratory tract infections, ear infections, bacterial meningitis, pneumonia, urinary tract infections, infant diarrhea, common colds, and flu. So those are some of the things that it can fight off and that's amazing. If you're sick, your breast milk knows, okay, well, the baby can get this so I'm gonna start producing these antibodies now. And if baby's sick, your body knows and it's already fighting off that infection. And that's amazing, you know, that's better than any doctor's trip or any type of medication they want to give your child. Your body itself is healing your baby and that is amazing. Um, another thing is that it reduces your child's risk of disease later on in life, like type 1 and 2 diabetes, which is amazing. Leukemia, Hodgkin's disease, obesity, high blood pressure and cholesterol, um, what else? Crohn's disease, asthma, eczema, like that's pretty cool. I mean, it's not saying that your baby for sure won't get these things, but the fact that it's fighting it off now to prevent it later is so amazing and I find that so worth it. If my breast milk can do that for my child, then I'm definitely going to give that a try. Here's where it gets a bit neat. Not only does it help your child and boost their immune system and fight off disease for them, it benefits mom. It's going to benefit you if you breastfeed. It reduces your risk of ovarian cancer, breast cancer, heart disease, and osteoporosis. And a neat fact with that is that a woman who's breastfed for about eight years or more nearly has a 0% risk of breast cancer later on in life. I never knew that. That's pretty cool. Um, I won't be breastfeeding for eight years because this is my last kid, but I mean, hey, any type of, you know, reduction to the risk of me getting breast cancer, I am for. Uh, that's awesome. Why not do something that's going to benefit you and your child? Something I struggled with, even though I had WIC, was at the end of each month, for some reason, I needed to buy an extra can or two. And anybody who buys formula knows it is freaking expensive. And my daughter needed this special Gentle Ease formula. You know, like, it's just a little bit more expensive. And, uh... I mean, I was working at the time a lot, so of course I could afford it. But the problem was is I had uh, my friend watching my daughter while I was at work and there wasn't very much communication. Sorry, I'm trying not to like burp right now. Uh, there wasn't very much communication. I'd come home from work late at night and she'd be crying for a bottle and there was not enough for a bottle. So now I'm like, okay, well I have to go to the store and pick up you know, formula for myself. Sorry, just a second. Uh, it's good, babe, I keep checking it and flipping it. We're making dinner while well, he's making dinner. Uh, yeah, WIC provides like, I don't even remember, maybe seven cans, eight cans of regular sized formula and I would still have to go and buy more. And with that being said, you know, thinking about all the bottles you need to buy, you know, all of the formula, that good stuff. 
if you breastfeed, you're going to save nearly two to $4,000 annually. Um, that's the neat thing about breastfeeding is it's free. And something that I haven't written down, I just remember off the top of my head, is my breast counselor actually told us you don't need to buy any herbs, any, you know, teas, anything to help you produce milk. People do that and for the most part it's kind of just a jip. Uh, companies out there like know that we struggle. It's definitely a struggle. It's not easy. <laughs> Being a mom in any way is not easy. Formula feeding isn't easy. None of it is. Um, but, you know, they see a struggle and they're like, okay, well, here's a good gimmick to, you know, get some cash. And I'm sure it works for some people, but for the majority, from what I've heard and from what my counselors told me, it's not worth it. All you need is water and your body and what you eat and you're great and you're good to go. So, all of the extra stuff people want you to buy for breastfeeding, you really don't need. So if you've already had a baby, I'm sure you remember after labor, the nurse coming in and rubbing your belly and helping you pass those blood clots right after you had your child. Uh, and it was super painful. And if you've breastfed already, you know that that starts some major contractions, like a period, but like times a thousand and it's really 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 painful and terrible and that's like one of the downsides to breastfeeding but that just means it's helping your uterus heal and shrink faster to its original size before you got pregnant uh, and it's doing it a lot quicker i mean it's painful it's not gonna be easy pregnancy is not easy having a kid's not easy being a mom's not easy at all um just throwing it out there i'm not gonna sugarcoat it but uh, it's going to help you heal a lot fa faster after postpartum and apparently, I didn't know this, but it reduces your overall blood loss after having your child and that's pretty neat too. Something all of us struggle with and I just did a video on uh, a little bit ago is body image issues. We all want to get back to that nice pre-pregnancy weight. We want to lose it quickly. We want to get back into our jeans, our dresses, our shirts. Trust me, I've been staring at the closet every day. Like, why can't I just wear my cute stuff again? Like, my favorite leather jacket does not fit. It looks like I'm wearing my daughter's jacket. I've tried. It's ridiculous, so I'm not even going to try. <laughs> it's at my mother-in-law's right now. I'm not even about to. She's like, you need to come get it. No, I'm not touching that thing right now. But, um... Breastfeeding can help you return to pre-pregnancy weight. And that was something awesome with my daughter. Just breastfeeding for the you know month and a half, two months that I did, I actually was thinner than before I had my daughter. When I got pregnant, I was already a chunky girl and I was actually, like my belly's big right now, but um, uh, you know, not including how big my stomach is, everything else, like I was a lot bigger. Uh, when my husband and I met. I was kind of a chunky girl in high school and throughout life and that's just something I had to deal with. But for some reason, I was blessed and after having my daughter, I lost all that weight. Come to find out, breastfeeding had a lot to do with it. You actually end up needing to take in more calories while you're breastfeeding than formula feeding. So, your body's eating up, you know, eating up all this fat and just taking so much from you, you're gonna lose weight quick, and that is awesome. I wanna get back to my pre pregnancy weight, so if breastfeeding is what did it, I'm doing it again. And last but not least, the most important thing SIDS. Uh, I, when I worked at the daycare, I had to get my certification on it. I did some classes. I took a lot of time learning about SIDS and what to do to reduce the risk of a baby dying from SIDS. And I was never told until my breastfeeding class that breastfeeding actually reduces the risk of SIDS. So if that is something else I can do to help take care of my baby and prevent anything bad from happening, then I'm gonna take that leap of faith and I'm gonna breastfeed. <laughs> like, the biggest thing, my husband is kinda weird, I don't mean to be TMI, but 
there are cons to it too. There is so much. Like I just want to give you guys the benefits and some of the things I've learned. But there's definitely some hard things uh, that have to do with breastfeeding as well. Like my boobs got so small. With me losing weight, you would think that, uh, well, of course you're gonna lose breast size, but I mean in a bad way. Like after breastfeeding, there was no more fatty substance to my breast. It felt flat. <laughs> um, and my husband was like, they look great now. Don't breastfeed, don't do not do any of this. We could bottle feed, we did it with June. I don't want you to lose your boobs. And I'm like, I don't wanna lose them either, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter what I want or what benefits me physically, like my image. Um, I'm gonna breastfeed him before. Rude! What? I am in the middle of a video, sir. I am in the I middle of a vlog. I'm in the middle of life. I'm living. Oh, you're awake now? You're living? But uh, yeah, I mean overall the cons to breastfeeding are not as great as the pros and anyway in my opinion I think the pros outweigh anything like my boobs get even smaller oh well you know I'm gonna have a happy healthy son and I'm gonna get back into my skinny jeans I miss them so much I'm like this used to be my baggy sweater and right now it's pretty darn tight I have according to my doctor I don't know I I'm switching doctors because they're just not very good at my clinic but I'm like 32 weeks right now and my stomach as, as, is as big as the day it was when I had my daughter. Huh, babe? Yep. I'm... Nice and big. I'm huge. And that's a whole other story, which if you watched my last vlog, I talk about they have my due date all jacked up. So a due date's just a due date. It's a floating date. It's not like a, this is when it's going to happen. Mark your calendar. So... I'm just leaving it up in the air, and when he's ready, he's ready. Uh, but yeah, definitely ready to get back into those skinny jeans and stop wearing all these baggy clothes and stealing my husband's clothes. Um, and breastfeeding's gonna help me do that. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed learning some things if you didn't know some of the stuff already, and if you did, well, I'm glad for you to listen to it again. <laughs> Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, and if you want to hear facts or cons or anything about anything else about breastfeeding, or if this made you think of anything else you'd like to hear about, uh, leave a comment down below, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.